Yo guys, welcome back to Cryptoria. Today I'm going to be covering Upper Chain, but before I do, I'll appreciate if you like, subscribe, and turn on bell notifications so you know when I upload. And with that being said, let's get into this video. So guys, I will be jumping straight onto CoinMarketCap for this video as I have already covered ArpaChain in the past. So go ahead and check out that video if you do want to understand what ArpaChain is. So guys, as you guys can see, the price is doing pretty well at the moment, up 5% over the last 24 hours. Currently trading underneath that 5 cent mark. Current market cap is pretty well as well, underneath that 50 million mark. Circulating volume is over 11.8 million. Going down to the chart very briefly, I will be giving a full analysis today on the chart. So as you you guys can see it was circulating underneath that three penny mark for quite some time it did surge up to around that five penny to six penny mark but then didn't dip all the way back down below that three penny mark before surging all the way up past that 10 cent level towards that 13 cent level and until then it did unfortunately dip until where it is at the moment in terms of where you guys can buy it best place being on binance but there are loads of exchanges where our chain is on so go ahead and check out which exchange is best for you so guys, I will be jumping on to some recent news now. So in terms of recent news, this was actually tweeted today from Dinoswap saying Dinoswap summons ARPA official to fossil farms and Jurassic pools, stake ARPA to Ethereum and SushiSwap liquidity pool tokens to farm Dino. Stake Dino to earn ARPA. So this is actually live right now. So the farm and pool will go, go live tomorrow. So it's actually happening right now. So it's something to look into as well, guys. You can stake your Dino to earn ARPA, which is very good as well. In terms of news happening on later this year, as you guys can see, there is a bunch of news that's happening uh, this year. So threshold signature deploy, uh, quarterly token burn, and mainnet 1.5 release. So the best, big one's probably been this one, as you guys can see. Q3 Q, uh, 2021, ARPA mainnet 1.5 release with extended capacity and improved performance quarterly token burn using revenue from enterprise contracts so this being the most hugest one out of all of them especially when it's upgrades within the mainnet so this should help boost the price up as well so guys that is just some news that is happening later on this year so guys i will be jumping onto the price analysis now so guys whatever has been waiting for the price analysis just before i jump into the latest sort of price analysis i do want to bring this back up so if you do want to go check out the first video I did on ARPA I did have this already marked out so it was around here when I did do the uh, price analysis was then and as you guys can see I have predicted it pretty well I did say in that video um, it will most likely correct this move here so as you guys can see from this month onwards I did mention that these three news occurred so go ahead and check out that video guys so just an update as you guys can see that resistance was formed back then I did say it would have that correction to around this resistance level here so it did so as you guys can see so that's just a quick update since the last video jumping on to the recent update so i have jumped onto the monthly again so as you guys can see i did highlight that resistance level around that 12 cent mark a resistance level around here as well around that 5 cent mark as well so what i can see at the moment there is a support formed at the moment where it is at the moment around that 3 cent mark so what i do see happening is either going to break above these resistances around that 4 cent mark and go straight beyond towards that 12 cent mark going up towards our all time high again because there is a lot of clean traffic towards the left at the moment or what it might do as well it might actually just continue breaking around this maybe ranging between these levels between that 3 cent to 5 cent level before creating that level of support and then going back towards that 10 cent mark slash 12 cent mark or what it might completely do is completely break that level of support and might range between that 1 cent to 3 cent mark before uh, creating level of support and going back up but this is just an analysis i do guys want to give you clear transparency in terms of where price would head don't just always assume it's going to be bullish all the time there is times where it's going to be ranging the times going to be very short very very bearish movement very bullish movement so it's just an open eye for all you guys so that is just three perspectives in what the markets can do in terms of short term slash long term as well as you guys can see from the all-time high it did do a perfect retracement back down towards that 1.618 level so as you guys can see i have marked out from that all-time high here to around this level it did do that perfect rejection from 78.6 create that level of support around that 61.8 level before breaking down towards that 1.618 level as you guys can see it went all the way back down perfectly touch this trend line as well has rejected a third time now so and 
to create a level of supports around that three cent mark so i do see it going beyond going up towards those highs at the moment so hopefully what it does now is mirrors uh, rejects uh, this level of resistance breaks above that and goes beyond towards that 10 cent mark in terms of short term guys i've jumped to a weekly again i just want to give you a projection of where price might be heading to so as you guys can see there is a lot of rejections at that three cent mark. You can see it, how many weeks it has been rejecting. So even this week, one, two, three, loads of weeks has been rejecting. Uh, multiple times has been rejecting this three cent mark. So in terms of short term projection, you might get a 60% return to around this level over here, around that four, 45 cent level mark over here, around 160% to these level of supports so around that seven cent level. 266% around these resistances around that 11 cent mark and 318% towards that 13 cent level. It's just a projection of where price might be heading to guys. It's especially want to give you a return of what you're expecting as well, especially for these little targets. So that's just a terms of short term slash long term as well in terms of very short term. So as you guys can see, it's been pretty difficult trading this off, you know, futures. And if you guys do uh, short term trading, as you guys can see, it's very, uh, you know, volatile volatile spikes especially happening in these day, uh, these hourly candles as you guys can see have jumped on the hourly and it's very volatile as you guys can see there's massive dips massive bullish uh, bullish traps and stuff like that so it has been pretty difficult trading within that hourly um, so as you guys can see I have drawn out this channel it is a downward channel so expect a bullish movement up so what it might do at the moment is either break above this channel create that level of support retest and then go beyond you know towards that five cent level or it might just completely reject it and go back down create a level of support again before it completely breaks above so as i said guys it has been very difficult trading hourly as you guys can see clearly how many times it's caused lows spike levels and you know you know being a little difficult as well especially when you're trying to short it might just completely you know go up if you're trying to sell it might just completely spike up so it's been difficult so as you guys can see hopefully you make sense of all of this make sure you look into your own analysis as well just so you have an insight of where price is going but hopefully you do understand this video and hope you enjoy this video make sure you subscribe and turn on bell notification for all future videos and with that being said I'll catch you guys in the next video.